Here we go. Middle of round two. Got a question for you. The score at this moment is three to one. You got to match two to stay in the running. Three, however, will win another game for you, Virginia. You match Chuck. Char uh, Chuck. Chuck's here in a big. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chuck, I'll call you Chuck from now on. Gotten so butch since she's come back from New York, there's no living with him. Quiet! As Tiny Tim tiptoed through the tulips, he tripped on his blank. As Tiny Tim tiptoed through the tulips, he tripped on his blank. He tripped on his blank. Oh, everybody up there is ready. How about you down here? Think of Tiny Tim. Yes. Tip He's tiptoeing through the tulips. Tip through the tulips. Okay, they're already over there. Virginia, as Tiny Tim tiptoed through the tulips, he tripped on his... Ukulele. <laughs> his ukulele. <laughs> ukulele. Okay. That seems like a reasonable response to me. Does it seem reasonable to you? Very good imitation of a ukulele. Very good. There's one match. One more to tie, two to win. Brett. Well, if I'd been thinking of Dickens, I probably would have said crutch. But I wasn't. So I said skirt. Tiny Tim tripped on his skirt. His skirt? Yes, of course. Or caftan, as the case may be. All right. Yes, Anything yes. you say. <laughs> Meredith. Would oh, you? I was waiting for Charles. Sorry Show and tell. That. Well, I just love him and Miss Vicky, and I said, ukulele. Oh. Score is tied. You got two celebrities to go. One more match will win another game for you, Virginia. Richard. Would I kid you? There's another game for you and another hundred dollars for you. And we've got to say goodbye to John Paul Scott. It was a short meeting, but a very pleasant one Thank for you. us. I hope you enjoyed it, John. Very much so. Good. We've got a gift for John Paul Scott backstage. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> this lady now has $6,300 to her credit. And she's going to have another go at over $5,000 here in the Big Money Super Match. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We polled a recent studio audience. We got their best response to this. Blank Jack. You know how it goes? 500 and 250 and 100 and a little help from celebrities. You want to choose them one at a time now? I'll go Charles. Charles! Okay. Uh, let's go with... Oh, Jumping. Oh. Jumping Jack. If he wants to say Jumping Jack, Orson, you let him say Jumping Jack and leave him alone. And if I want to say, oh, I can say, oh, okay. I was going to say hi, Jack, but when you talk about butterflies and wear a pink sweater, you don't use such words. I see. <laughs> Meredith. Meredith, what is your response here? I would say Blackjack. Blackjack? Oh, that. Uh, One more. Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson. A man who's very close to me, Billy Jack. Billy Jack. So you've got right, Billy Jack, Billy. Black Jack, and Jumping Jack. Remember, you can choose one of those or give us one of your own. What do you want to do? I like to gamble. I'll go with Black Jack. Black Jack it is. That's the one we're looking for. Let's find out if it's up there. May we see the $100 response? Jumping Jack is up there, and you've already had that from Charles. It's still looking for Black Jack. Here's a $250 response. Billy Jack is up there. You got two out of three. Here is a good omen. Maybe it's up there. Here is the $500 response. Black Jack. Virginia Shook will be back next time to have a go at the big money here, and we'll see how that works out. Hope you'll be able to join us. You were just terrific. I thank mean you. terrific, and I thank you all, and I hope you can all come back again sometime. When? Uh, sure. yeah. Soon. We'd love to. Yeah, don't but, finish that. All right, but <laughs> next week, we're going to have this bunch of cuckoo birds. Larry Hobbit, Rex Summers, Rip Taylor, Joanne Clue. Richard Dawson and Peggy Katz. Gene Rayburn for Match Game 74. Join us next time. Bye.